Good morning, Napa Christian. How are you guys doing? Are you still getting along with your brother or your sister? Are you helping out around the house with your parents? Maybe cleaning up after yourselves? That's so helpful when young people help their parents out. Thank you for doing that. It's so important that we all participate together. I'm Pastor Nate, and you've seen me before in these, movies, in these little videos about the armor of God. Pastor Glenn and I have been doing a little series, and, and we've been talking about the different aspects of how God protects us, how God watches out for us. Today, I'll be talking to you about putting on the helmet of salvation. What does that mean? May, I'm not sure exactly, but maybe in talking about it today, we can figure it out. As you can see, we are in my garage. This is not the cleanest place in the house, but I love my garage. You can see my, oh, over here, my heater. That heats the whole house, keeps us nice and warm and toasty. And you can also see, oh, over here, you can see all, all my tools. I have lots of tools because I like doing lots of work around the house. I like to fix things and I like to build things. I built I like to build fences and gates and and gardens and fixing in the in the bathroom, fixing the towel holders, all sorts of things. One thing I have learned is having the right tool matters. You can't really fix everything with a hammer. And you can't fix everything with just a screwdriver. You need special tools for a special job. I'll show you a couple of my tools. This is a tool I use a lot when I'm gardening. I have a drip system, and this drip system goes all around my yard, and it puts out little bits of water on my different plants. and has these plastic tubings, and I take this, knife, like a box cutter, that has a nice handle, and it has a little thing I can put on my belt if I want to, and I can cut the different pieces to the right size. I use this one almost every day when I'm working in the garden. Oh yeah, Allen keys. I use these a lot. I like to go biking, and these are the tools, if you can see there. These are the tools that fix my bike. It's special. There's a special little screw that goes in, and those fit right in. And you can see, and I just tighten it just enough so that my bike stays perfect. I like these tools a lot, too. These tools are very cool. I use these all the time. These are little nippers. They, they cut things, if you can see, kind of like scissors, but I can cut wire, heavier wire. Oh, and these things help me grab onto oh, big bolts, or I can grab a uh, pipe. I can do all sorts of things with these things. I like these tools quite a bit. Of course, you can see my hammer, and you can see all my other things that I have all here, and I use these all the time. Oh, got to have a drill. Yeah, this is a good little drill. The battery's not big. I have a bigger drill, but this is great for around the house. Nice and small. My boys like using this one a lot. I also have other tools. This is a helmet, and I use it when I go cycling. Well, one, you need to wear a helmet when you go riding or on skateboarding, because that's the law, but it also does something. Have you fallen before when you were riding or biking or riding your skateboard? I have. I have fallen quite a bit, actually. Actually, two years ago, I fell, and I was wearing a helmet just like this, and I was riding down Second Street as fast as I can down down in downtown Napa on my bike and I hit something in the road and I lost control of my bike and I was going 
fast. My, my computer on my bike said I was going 30 miles per hour. That's fast. Well, when I hit, you know what happened. And I hit that thing on the, on the ground. Well, I lost control of the bike and I couldn't regain control. And I started to go down, down, and I knew it was over. And I hit the ground hard. I hit it so hard, I, I hit my shoulder, and I hit my head, and I slid across the ground. My, what shoulder is it? Oh yeah, my right shoulder. I got, sometimes I have a hard time remembering left and right, so I have to like pretend to right to remember which one is my right. So this one is my right, and I, I hit this shoulder first, and it took off my, uh, my my shirt there and it took off some skin there then i hit my side and my leg and i had skin on the ground and blood well not too bad this is still a pg program right it wasn't that bad but i broke my collarbone right here and i hurt my shoulder really bad and my leg was all scraped up and my helmet was broken now, when you break a helmet, you can't use it again. It's styrofoam, and it was broken in two spots. And if you come by my office, you will see my helmet. I have it there hanging there to remind me that I was protected. Helmets protect us. Last time that I spoke to you, you saw that my boys had made a helmet. They have since painted it black. They're going to put a white stripe down the middle of it. They think that will look cool. But they put it had a helmet, and I tried to put it on, but it didn't fit quite right, and it didn't work. Because the helmet has to fit properly in order for it to work. And helmets are good because they protect us from lots of things. Paul writes that we need to put on the helmet of salvation. And you know what I think that means? I think it means that we need Jesus in our lives. That he is that protection. And it's not for the someday protection. It's for the every day. See, every day I need to start with prayer. Every day I need to, to read something in my Bible about Jesus. Because I know I'm tempted sometimes. I'm tempted sometimes to use my fists and to punch my, my brother or my sister. Sometimes I'm so angry I want to use my words and say, Mom! Dad, I'm so mad. Every day I need Jesus to help me. I need his saving grace in my life. And he does protect us. I have found when I'm really upset, if I stop and I pray, that God, that God helps me have self-control. If I stop for a moment and say, Dear Jesus, help me. I'm so angry right now. I have found that Jesus does help. It's like a helmet. It's like a little protection in the little warfare that is taking place all around us in my heart when I am angry and upset. When Paul tells us to put the helmet of salvation, it's like putting our helmet on when we go cycling. And when I hit the ground, and when I hit the ground myself, I could have died that day. But because I had the, the, that helmet on, I was saved. And I think that's what Paul is talking about. Put Jesus into your life. It makes everything better. I know it does for me. I hope you have the courage to put the armor of God on you. Not so that you can fight, but so that you can stand in the love of Jesus. We love you. We miss you. I hope you like my tools. I like my tools. My children like my tools. I always have to get after them. Put my tools away. But I hope you have a, are having a good time with your family. I hope you know that we love you. I hope you know that your school loves you. And I hope you know that Jesus loves you. All right, blessings, kids. We, we miss you. Have a very good day. All right, bye.